Hello and welcome to the Harold Gaming channel. Today, thanks to the kindness and generosity of my Patreons, I continue my Guild Wars 2 Fashion Wars campaign with my personal top 10 focuses. Oh, for Guy. Now, please do take advantage of the information in the description and the pinned comment below, where you will find links to the Guild Wars 2 wiki for all the weapon skins and outfits shown here today. I know you're here for some glorious eye candy, so let's tarry nod and jump right into that soul sumptuous food in no particular order whatsoever. From the Addition Raid, this lovely Byzantian-inspired focus can be purchased from Scholar Glenna after you defeat Cardinal Adina. The cost, a mere 600 getting crystals and 20 gold, or if you are extremely lucky, it can drop from Adina's chest. Good luck, folks. Now, if you are not a raider, maybe this unique yet subtle looking weapon might tempt you into some casual raiding fun. The Celestial Compass has some lore tasty flavor text. This artifact was uncovered from deep within the Zaitian vaults in the Battle Isles. Any veteran Guild Wars campaign players will tell you that's a place of joy and sorrow, but sadly all that lore is only found occasionally in Black Lion and Black Lion exclusive chess. Maybe one day we will find this glorious weapon in game, unlocked via gameplay, oh, we can but hope. One of my all time favourite focus skins, the Chimeric Prism, is really beautiful and great again for its understated look, which still turns heads. To unlock this, you must head into the original Guild Wars campaigns, as it is a Hall of Monument exclusive, but once you have done all that work to unlock this lovely skin, it is free to apply forever. Ah, oh, rejoice. The crafted heroic dragon blood Fukai is perfect as a mesmer weapon, with its glorious crystals and beautiful animation, not to mention the intricate Celtic knotwork design. So, how to unlock? Well, your go-to gal to craft this focus is Forge Master Helena inside the forge itself at Thunderhead Peaks, and you will need a level 500 artificer to craft this ascended weapon, as well as doing quite a bit of farming to get the materials to purchase the recipes and things. The Luminous Securio is a riot of gold, and if bling is your thing, all you need to unlock this lovely is, well, a bit of dedication to the franchise. Luminous skins are gifted to you at your character's 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th birthdays, and you get to choose 2 skins each year. You also get to choose exclusive armors for these birthday gifts too, but do take your time, this is an annual reward, and you'll have 12 months to regret your choice. If you love the Nightmare Before Christmas vibe, the Mad Realm of Fokai will be right up your street, large, stunningly detailed with a back which is as beautiful as its front. This book is just the ticket for necromancers and edge lord guardians alike. Shockingly, this dark tome will only set you back between 18 and 33 gold on the trading post. It's quite a bargain. For cosplayers, the Merciless Fokai is a gift from the gaming gods. No particle effects, no animations, just 100% whip, no bells, no whistles required. Be the best Indiana Jones interior, but please do remember your safe word for the Guild Wars Gone Wild RP iteration. Costing between 160 and 230 gold on the trading posts, wow, it's at the deep end of the ouch pool of your purse. Reinventing the concept of the foci, the Miss Lord Ascended Focus is a fist weapon in all but name. Unlocked via PvP or Worldly World, the mats needed to win this princely pup are, well, not 
insignificant. However, if you have never had a good reason to jump into the player versus player scene before, well, perhaps this handsome toothy boy will change your mind. From no particle effects to all particle effects, because if particle effects are all you need to be happy, the anomaly has your back. Gifted to you by Zamoros of the Mystic Forge, you will need one Eldritch Scroll, a hundred Mystic Coins, 250 Globs of Ectoplasm, and one Bloodstone Shard. Or you can cut out the gin and just head to the trading post where you will need to fork out between 190 and 270 gold for this bad boy. Fittingly, we end with the Zenith Scroll, another rare unicorn skin being both rewarded for gameplay and free to apply. You unlock your first Zenith skin at 1,000 achievement points, but it will take 28,000 to complete the full collection. Now you do get to choose the skins you unlock, but the steps are quite far between, so take your time. I say this often, but I think the Zenith skins are so underrated, and it's a crying shame because look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. So that's my personal top 10 foci, sans legendaries, of course, as ever, they are just too overpowered to include with the mundane skins. And if you fancy a bit of legendary action, click in the top right hand corner of your screen to my top 10 legendary weapon video. Do let me know your favorite focus skin in the comments and please do whilst you're down there. Like this video if indeed you did like it, share it if the love moves you, subscribe and ring that bell if you would like to see more of my top 10 Guild Wars 2 offerings and please, please do show some love to Molini, Jason Venter, Cub, Jolly Joe Star, Cody, Kilda, Dark Griever and all my wondrous, fantabulous Patreons without whom I will be unable to dedicate the time and resources I do to my content creation. I can never thank you all enough. If you would like to join my merry band of nerdy awesomeness for early access content and much more, there are links below. If you feel inspired to jump into Guild Wars 2, there are referral links below to both the free to play game and the Path of Fire expansion, which now includes all the wonderful Heart of Thorns expansion content too. I highly recommend both, and thanks to the generosity of ArenaNet and their partner program, with whom I am a proud affiliate. Using any of these referral links directly supports my channel, but costs you not a penny more. Now I hope you will join me again for more Guild Wars 2 Top 10 goodness. Next up will be Torches, but until then, as always, thank you so much for watching.